Hey guys, welcome to the vault. We're back with some more exclusive content. Uh, keepers, weepers, and sleepers goes right now. We are joined by Rico, Josh, um, and your regular um, host, Ariel, Leon, and Pierre. Don't know why I'm struggling. Pierre, uh, take it away. Well, what a way to wrap up the week, right? With some keepers, sleepers, and weepers. You guys ready to get started here? Let's go. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Let's All do right, it. let's do it. Let's talk shit. I mean, it just was so much wrong with this hat right here. And it could have been good. if Honestly, I think if they would have went with like a gray or a green UV, I think it might have been a little bit better. But and then going with that bright, that mauve, what is it, infrared UV and then the pink fish and the side pad. It just was so much wrong with this hat. And it's disappointing because I really used to like a lot of Sneaker Town's work. But like we said earlier, they've been slipping lately. Or not adjusting. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Good choice, man. Thank you. Holy Ooh. shit. Where did you find this thing? Magic sneaker. I just Magic. don't I just don't like this colorway. It's just aesthetically, it's just not a pleasing eye. It's an eyesore. That's it. Oh. Like, that's all I got for it. It's just the eyes. Whenever you I need a weeper. I couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah. Whenever you need a weeper and you're struggling, just go to Magic Sneaker. It's last. <laughs> but... how, how do they share a rep with one of the most creative hat designers right now? And then they just allow them to keep doing this. Like, it's crazy to me. I think John it's J. Pratt out, outworks them, makes them dive deep into the vaults and find these crazy logos and, you know, gets everything. Maybe the reps right. working so hard for uh, John Jay doesn't have time for them. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, whatever, man. <laughs> he's like, well, whatever, dude. Here you Tell go. Tell me what you want. That's what you want. <laughs> All right, cool. This is what I got. <laughs> yeah, this is not a good hack. Yeah. That's, I swear it's perfect for the board. Yeah, man. Poor birds. And that's a good logo. Like, I've seen nice hats done with that logo. And I'm yeah. not a big fan of um, St. Louis Cardinals hats, but when I see a nice one, like I, you, you can tell when something's right, even if yeah. that's not what you're into. Um, this one is just not good. I'm sorry. The thing that kills me is the fact that they actually went with a gray UV here. Like, so you know better, you know to go with like, but they have so many other bad hats that they'll go with a crazy color UV. It's like, yeah, the thing that killed me here is the whole hat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Looks like a <laughs> looks like a budget like greeting card company logo. It's really bad. Yeah. All right. Let's snap sweeper. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking thing. Uh this hat, man. Uh multiple people requested this one. Yeah, Jersey Shore. They're looking at the some this Pauly D looking at the Ferris wheel. That's searching, about high, yo. Searching for some grenades. <laughs> um yeah man I can see somebody one of those buff guys in the beach no shirt on wearing these yeah <laughs> where the grenades at you know and this is not this is not it man Hats nope. up. terrible what team is this Jersey Shore Blue Crabs This is a Blue Crabs hat Oh come on yeah Oh come on They've done this before Forget right? about it <laughs> Yeah, it's bad. All right. Bad work. Uh, rounds and Sons, <laughs> Detroit, Grand Rapids, wherever in Michigan. Um, not doing the, the C3PO. Um, this is rough work. The silver is just as bad as the gold, but the gold got it today. Uh, Weeper of the Week comes from Rounds and Sons. That's that gold dust you heard. <laughs> I love gold. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I can get this to play. Can I get this to play? Oh, here we go. All right, my my weeper of the week is these fucking camera shots and videos where they make you dizzy and nauseous. I, I like, like what is this? Like a strip tease? Like just fucking show the hat. What <laughs> side effect? Like just show the fucking hat. Like what? What is this, man? The effect that goes over the switch hats is, is wild. And it's not about this particular 
one. I'm talking about in general. Mm-hmm. Like Leon used this one as an example. I just mean like in general, like they, they start with this like blurred out fucking like a close up and camera a camera right up to the side patch. They just make a huge it's just like why? Why? Yeah. And why? this trend, I want to be clear. Metallics were you put those on a hat like four years ago, no one wanted the fucking hat. Okay, I want to be clear. No one did. Yeah. You remember that, Leon? Mm-hmm. Now, John Jay started using metallics. And John Jay started using them very and then and then Pat started really using metallics. So all this stuff you're hearing about, like, oh, metallics were born in this place or that bullshit. I I was here watching the whole time. John Jay started it. Pat from Toppers perfected it. And now here we are. That's where it really started. Not anywhere else. I don't care what anybody tells you. Metallics did not start anywhere else. It was revitalized by John Jay. And then it was like, it was just like blown out the water by Pat. And now everyone does metallics. So that's the reality. And these videos are fucking stupid. Like, take a video of your hat. Just, like, have the hat in frame and just take a nice video of your hat, man. Like, no one needs to see the striptease. But either way, that's my Weeper of the Week. I love this. I love this Anaheim hat. I don't know. The 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 Otani. And I I don't know. There's something about this hat. I really like it a lot. And full-size run available. Like... Why? Why is it sitting? I don't know if it's because it's got the hat, that half hat thing with the piping. So yeah, about this hat, I'm ready for that. Yeah, that everybody's ready for that. You know, and and he might be. He, I know he's doing it on a lot of hats right now, because but it's something that's new, and I don't know if it's gonna catch on. But I do like it. I think it's uh, it's definitely gonna be something I'm gonna look back on at like a time and collecting and be like, this was something that was happening, and either it it, it, it hits and it doesn't. But I think like. Even as a, like uh, you look at like old collections, you'd be like, "Oh yeah, that came from John Jay, and this is something that he started," you know. So yeah, I love this hat, and yeah, it's sitting crazy enough. I don't think this is going to take off. No, no. See, I the- I applaud him for doing this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. However, do I think this is going to be something that that is going to take off? Absolutely not. Yeah, it's not for everybody. No. It's a different time now. So, like, I think if you if he did this a year ago, I think we'd probably be seeing people doing it. Doing it today? Nah. I don't think so. I like I have the very first one, and to me that was the best color. The 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 white with the royal blue and black, mm-hmm. all the gold and blue metallic stitching. To me, that was the best one. Yeah. Um, but even sometimes I still I still like um certain colorways. Like I don't want this same hat a bunch of times. I only like the first one and that's it. Yeah. The Korea, yeah. The not, Korea. But I, I firmly understand that it's not <laughs> the Korea and the North. Sure. Oh my god, oh, the yeah. Korea one is good. Yeah. I, I I think Josh, I think you hit it right on the head. Like he does, he is putting it on a lot of hats, and I think it doesn't necessarily need to be on every every drop that's happened for the past month or two. I don't think it mm-hmm. needs to be like three or four hats out of that drop. But I definitely do like that it gets sprinkled in. It's just, you know something to see because I think when you try to force it a little too much, might that might be the issue. But yeah, I mean, it, it, like you said, it might not be. It might be gone tomorrow. But I think it, it will be something that it'd be like at least he does try, and that's why I respect you, Pierre. You always look for these you know these these dope new logos that aren't getting used that much. I think John Jay's in that ilk, always trying different things out. I respect it at the end of the day. At least you guys are trying and, you know, not just doing the same 10 logos and side patches. Yeah, I didn't say I don't like these. I'm saying I don't think they're going to be copied and emulated, and and I don't think everyone's going to be doing this. Mm-hmm. Oh, I agree. I don't think it – because if you, someone else does it, then they're like, oh, you're just biting John Jay. Well, it hasn't That's stopped cool. people from using the cascading logo. I That's think, true. like, yeah. I, I just think we're in a different time now. I think a lot of stores are like slowing down a little bit. I think other stores are being less risky. 
And I don't think they're going to go. I don't think this is something that's going to take off. I think John will continue to use it. Mm-hmm. You know, but sure. that's my opinion. All right, cool. Next sleeper. Josh, are you alive? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> oh. I was going to say this. I, I picked this hat because. I feel like I give this store, like, I give them a lot of shit a lot of times. But this is a store that when I first discovered them, I liked a lot of their, like, I feel like a lot of their logos are very creative and well executed. They understand how stitching works and stuff. So a lot of their designs don't look cluttered and they translate well when they stitch them on and stuff. So... Although a lot of their most recent stuff I haven't really liked, I I really like how this came out. This looks really clean to me. I like, I, although like I don't really like the cartoon stuff too much. This mascot looks great to me. Like the the spikes on the on the stick that he's holding and stuff. Like it just looks gangster. It looks like a like a mobster fox or something like. Like, I really, really like this one. So that's why I picked this one. Shout out to Noble North. He's got a, a razor blade on his brim. That's what they used to put razor blades there. Mm. Smack you with the hat. See, I ain't peeped that. See, that's mm. cool, man. I like this one. That's dope. I didn't know that either. I really like this one. They, they've been, you know what I'm saying? In the past, I've seen a lot of different mascots that they've done, and, I, and I've liked them. But as of lately, I haven't really been feeling them too much. But but this one, this one's cool. I like this one a lot. Nice. Fuck All right, cool. Thing. Next sleeper. Uh, Pro Image DPM. Um, this hat is pretty cool, man. Pretty dope. Uh, go get it. It's a ringing endorsement. All right. Uh, sleeper. I picked this up at a uh, hat club noho um, last week. It was just sitting on the shelf, a bunch of sizes. Um, I don't really even remember them kind of advertising it or whatever, but nice little clean Mets hat, gray bottom, then Islanders colors. Sleeper of the week. All right, hat club. Listen, two sleepers from Noble North. I went with the uh, foxtail. I love what he does. I like his clean uh, N for Noble North that he does in his logo, but I love this because it was really creative. This is on the back of the hat that Josh just kind of showed as his sleeper. Yeah, and I, I think, like, like this one too, man. It's, it's it's just really good, man. I think it's a really cool hat, really cool uh, graphic. Um, great job, Brian, over at Noble North, and that's my mm-hmm. sleeper of the week. And now we jump into the keepers. Rico, your keepers. Come on, the GOAT. The go to the green. Uh, this is a this is just a great hat. I mean, the yard. I don't have a yard goat yet, so this I'm hoping this is gonna be my first little yard goat. I've been waiting for the right one. This one might be it. I think mm-hmm. it's clean. I think the colors hit perfectly. That goat, he's running. You know, he's ready to get it on. Love it. Mm-hmm. Ten out of ten. Get the masters uh, green jacket. Jacket, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Executed, executed to perfection. I, I gotta say it. Nice yeah. job with this one. And your second keeper? That A wax, man. I, I think that uh the the what is he calling it? The the A the A axe. I like it, man. I think uh algebra has been going crazy with it, like I said, the past few weeks. This is just a great real tree. Makes a lot of sense. Good metallic. It's doing just enough. Good pick. Good pick. Thank you. All right. Nice job, Rico. Appreciate it. I think these hats are clean. Like my my personal one that I like is the the, the bottom. bottom one, not the corduroy one, but I still like the corduroy one. You know, I still think they're really nice. I just get like an old school vibe to it. And, you know, I like Negro League hats because of that. I like a lot of minor league team logos because of that, because some of them give me old school vibes and this one definitely looks very clean 
I like that. That gold outline on that front logo. It's just a it's just a nice clean hat. I fucks with this. Yeah. Good pick. Good pick. All right. Is it me or do chords just kind of like they just they survive? Like a good cord hat, you could just wear it. Doesn't like it doesn't get messed up. So, yeah, yeah. yeah I think the brims hold better too. Like I think I, I think that's probably probably part of the reason why John Jay does so many of them. The brims never like, they never seem to crack, mm-hmm. and they're always like they always hold their curves. Yeah, because Polly's crack. You know, Sometimes it, it depends. It's it's like. It's not really the poly that's the issue. It's the cardboard in the brim, but I just feel like they just don't crack. I don't know why. Maybe it's because they're reinforced with the corduroy because it's a thicker fabric. I don't know. Thicker fabric, yeah. yes. Absolutely. <clears throat> and then this one, you know, like I, I've seen um, videos of it, and that metallic really blings on it really nice. And I'm a, I'm a fan of... I have a lot of like black and gold hats or black and gold with pewter or silver. Like I like hats like that. I wear a lot of black. So this one was just like a given to me. And I like that side patch too. I know a lot of people don't like that side patch, but I like that one. No, it's a good looking hat. It's really clean. Nice and clean. Is that that looks like an Everest green undervisor? I think it's gray, no? I think it's gray. Is it? I think so. It's, it, I think it's his photo is it, it's like the photo box. He didn't use flash. So oh, it yeah. looks darker. Yeah. And that's and that's why I I emphasized on the video that I seen of it because I've noticed that when a lot of hats are taking like when a lot of people take these pictures of these hats with metallic stitching in these boxes, it doesn't do justice to the stitching. You can't yeah. really see it all that well. That's why you're seeing more videos out there. Yeah, because mm-hmm. this hat looks way better than what this picture, you know, shows us. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Josh. Great job with those. And Snap, you're up. Oh, yeah. My fit it's with the uh, Murder, She Wrote, Astros, uh, Ransom Note mm-hmm. logo. Very dope. I, I like... I like that uh, John Jay pushes the envelope, and when he hits, he hits grand slams. So yep. Good job, John Jay. Uh, this Astros is my first keeper. I love that. Yeah, super clean. All right, my second keeper comes from uh, Topper Store USA. I first fell in love with this hat. I asked Pierre for this hat, but um, – then these other ones came out, and I said, "Oh Lord, hold on, you hold your horses." <laughs> but this is uh, this is a definitely one that you should have in your collection because in the fall we love to wear rust, and mm. this is it right here. Black size is available. Good mm-hmm. pick, good pick. Thanks, Snap. Mm-hmm. Uh, first hat, uh, first keeper for me. I'm wearing it right now, Hilldale. Um, I just really like what he's doing there. Shining a, a light on the Negro League. Uh, he's trying to do, uh, I don't know how many teams he plans on doing, but he's done a lot already. And uh, excited to see what uh, Ty's doing uh, in the future. But yeah, the Hilldale, um, what I'm wearing right now, it's a beautiful hat. And uh, the Cleveland Buckeyes one is, is great too. So uh, shout out to Ty. Sun Keeper, um, talking about goats, goats of hockey, 9 9 uh, Gretzky. Um, I think they did a great job. There's a home and away version. Uh, this is, I believe, the home version. But either way, um, cool little hat coming from Still. That's my second keeper of the week. Yeah. We are goats. All right. My first keeper is this uh, 1993 NBA Finals hook, um, the Suns versus the Bulls by Hat Dreams and Fresh Ben Dope. I just love the execution on it. Nice, clean colors. They just look really sharp. That's my first Keeper of the Week. And my second Keeper of the Week comes from 4 you Caps, um, this uh, Fort Wayne Wizards cap that Leon and I saw when we were in the store. Just oh, really, a lot of these are sitting on the site, man, and uh, I think it's only one size sold out. But this is a really nice minor league cap. I think there's a lot of gems on the 4 you Caps website if you go check it out. 
Um, and that's my second keeper of the week. And that, my friends, brings this show to a close. Really, Thanks. really. Yeah, listen, fun Friday as always. So you're all seeing this on Sunday, but we're wrapping up our Friday evening here. Um, I want to thank all of you guys for joining me this evening. You did a fantastic job, Rico. Fantastic guest. Thank you so much for being on This Week in Caps and also topping it off with uh, a little Keepers, Sleepers, and Weepers. Thanks for having me, man. I had a really great time. You guys are a lot of fun. And, and, oh, and thank you. And Josh, I want to thank you for your persistence. You had uh, yeah. several altercations with Carlito and the internet. <laughs> you found a way to persevere and stay true to stay true to your uh, your friends here on Views in the Vault. Well, I was the best. And uh, Snap, just so you know, I just put in an Amazon order for two dozen cases of Vicks Vapo Rub, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and I also um, threw in uh, uh, three cases of cough drops for you. So <laughs> those will be my boys fucked up in the game. You heard? <laughs> those will be uh, heading over to the Chateau de Snap uh, very shortly. You know, you know, when I get that cough, it takes a long time for me to shake it off, man. That sucks, bro. This Feel is my second that. Friday now with this with this cough. Listen, man. I just I'm just happy I'm all the way over here and you're all the way over there. Well, well, well. When we was in New York together, I <laughs> coughed all over you and you was all. Oh. <laughs> I'm impervious. Yeah. Yeah, you're a machine. You're you don't you don't took your vitamins everything. I saw that supplement, bro. Pierre's rarely all sick. Protein, everything. I mean, he's very Pierre rarely doesn't sick. Get sick. Yeah. That's all that protein, all those supplements my boy takes early in the morning. He's a I'm tank. Like, I'm about to go take some creatine and glutamine and hit the sack. So, like, you know, it's funny that you talk about supplements. <laughs> right, <laughs> goddamn now. What's that? I said you're about to go take some supplements right goddamn now. Well, about tomorrow morning in about seven hours, I'll be heading off to the gym with my son. And then um, another day at the office. So Baby I'll be, bank. I'll be at the shop until 6 p.m. tomorrow. Shop is closed on Sunday. But, guys, we're going to have a really good time uh, next week. We're going to have a lot of good content for you. I want to thank everyone again. And with that, Leon, big fella, take us away. Yeah, make sure you guys are dropping a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. For Rico, Josh, Ariel, Leon, and Pierre, we're out of here. See you, everybody. Peace.